Yo, yo, what's up, world? Happy Sunday. Um, I'm just chilling. I got Lily Bug here. We got Wifey Boo here, all pregnant and cute. Say hi. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say, uh, God bless you guys. I hope you all are being safe and uh, being awesome like you guys are. Uh, welcome all the new people to the channel. I hope you are blessed by these videos and encouraged. Um, God be with all of you. If you have any prayer requests or anything, let me know. And uh, if you guys could like the videos, share the videos, and just um, let me know in the comment section about things, man. I want to build a community here. I want to build a friendship with all y'all. I want to get to know you guys. So that would be really cool. Um, I just wanted to show you my garden. I don't know if anyone's interested or any garden people out there. But I got some um, jalapenos growing right there. I hope you guys can see them. I got my awesome lemon tree. It's like five and a half feet tall. That's literally a lemon tree. We have to bring it inside when it gets cold and stuff. Um, what's on here, babe? That's the lettuce, right? Butternut lettuce. Butternut lettuce is growing in there. I have a pot like this, but it fell and it's red, but it's down there. And we tried to salvage all the plants down there. So they're growing pretty well still. My basil, my rosemary, my Italian cilantro, parsley, parsley chives. I got, I got peppermint. Down right here, I got a busted up tomato plant that the storm was just beating up for like the last month, <laughs> but it's still there. Um, I got some more chives, and I got like roses and stuff in my garden. I'll have to do a walkthrough one day, but um, just showing you guys that we're ready for the next pandemic, you know, with everything going on on this plane. The peppers are mad hot, and I'm not going to eat one on camera if you think I'm going to, because I'll start crying. And like gagging and stuff but they're really good though yeah um, some of them are not as hot i had a really sweet one and then the next one i had i was just like like i poured acid down my throat and <laughs> it was so bad it was so bad and then my son ate one because he was like dad i'm gonna eat one i'm like you can but you're gonna cry and then he ate it and then he started crying and i was like i told you not to eat it he's like no you told me you told me to eat it i was like yeah but i said you're gonna cry look at you're crying and it was so sad, so I pulled over because we were in the car. I pulled over and I got him some ice cream, and um, that really took his mind off it. <laughs> it was so sad and cute and funny at the same time. I'm bad. But, uh, yeah, uh, if you like hot stuff, you'd love these peppers. I like hot stuff, though. My palate has grown. But um, Lily just ate one. Tell, tell him about your experience with the pepper. Uh, I was eating the whole thing, and I threw the stick away. How hot was it? Um, like 30 degrees. It was about 30 degrees, she said. That's pretty <laughs> hot. Uh, <laughs> anyways, man, Sukkot's tomorrow night. Uh, those of you that uh, celebrate Yahweh's feast days, uh, his appointed days, um, tomorrow night it starts, the first day of Sukkot. Super excited. This year is, I think, our first year of us camping, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to do a little camping. Nothing special. We are just going to camp in my mom's backyard. It's pretty wooded and secluded and nice. And they actually camp in the backyard all the time there. It's a pretty large yard. So um, we're going to do that. It's going to be fun. Um, I got hot dogs. I'm going to make stuffed peppers this week. Or I'm not going to make it. I'm lying. Uh, my wife's going to make it because she's, man, God bless her hands. Look at her. Tell them about your stuffed peppers. Hi, what are you doing about them? Uh, <laughs> she's like, I uh. usually do quinoa and ground beef and cheese, but. Tomorrow I'm gonna do ground beef and rice. She's and not shy, cheese. by the way. <laughs> Camera shy. What are you making? Hit thumbs up for food. <laughs> exactly what she said. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you like food, right? <laughs> wow, I need her to help me out with my videos. Um, <laughs> but she's making the stuffed peppers. Uh, usually she would use quinoa or with, you know the healthy version of rice or something. But uh, we're using this. We're gonna do rice. Um, cheese and ground beef and some stuffed peppers in the oven oh mosquito sauce. just got me bro um and then and tomato sauce and then i got some some uh, hot dogs make some chicago style hot dogs this week and i got some lamb we're gonna cook on the grill so you know so it's gonna be awesome um if you guys celebrate so anyone that hears this video i would like to hear about what you guys do for your so and uh, what you're doing this year and what you've done in previous years or whatever, however the spirit leads you, go ahead in the comment section and leave all that. I want to know about it. I want to know. We all want to know. And it's good to share these things because there's people that are new to going, coming to uh, Yah's Feast Days. 
So um, it's actually encouraging because when me and my wife came to this walk with God, we didn't know what we were doing. We still really don't know what we're doing. We try though. And um, so it's in, it's encouraging to just share your experience, share what you do, so others could uh, kind of um, get an idea of what they should do in their life. And then until the Messiah returns, and then we'll know how to do it 100% perfect because we'll be doing it with him. <clears throat> but uh, I love you guys. I hope everyone's okay. Uh, I know the world's crazy. There's a lot of violence in the world. Uh, just stay in prayer. Stay prayed up. Uh, stay close to God. Be reading your Bible while it's still legal because um, I feel like it's going to become hate speech, which it isn't, but I feel like it's going in that direction just based off like the world and everything and how people make it out to be. Um, uh, we're, we're, we're living, we got to be living in the end times, guys. We got to be living uh, currently in the, uh, in the uh, beginning of sorrows, I would call it and say. Um, ain't no telling when the Lord's return is, but it's close because after Jesus resurrected, he said his return was close. And then John said, and uh, I forgot what chapter it was. Chapter 2, I want to say. Not the Gospel of John. Maybe First John. I don't know. But John says that we're in the last hour. You know, and that was like 2,000 years ago. So um, we got to be in like the last 10 minutes then. If he's saying that was the last hour ten, uh, 2,000 years ago. I don't know. But you know what I mean? Like... We have to get right with the Lord. We're, uh, time is against us. We're, we're, we're fighting against time. Do not wait. If you're 15 and you feel like, I can wait, I'm young, I want to do what I want to do, please erase that attitude and just serve him wholeheartedly. Be like King David. Go after God's heart. Go after his heart every day. And um, we're, time is not on our side. Time is our enemy. It really is. It, you know, we're not guaranteed an hour from now. We could literally hop in our cars and in a car accident and die and like boom there's no hope because we didn't have jesus in our life so i would just encourage everyone to just uh you know be a researcher uh start a relationship with god uh, and just be prayed up uh it's all about love love god love people remember that love god love people uh just make a difference in this world you can't change the world but you could make a difference and change starts with you love you guys be blessed